Subscribe <laughs> Norwich City nil, Manchester United won. And what a contrast between the back-to-back -back victories. One nil victories, that is. Now, the one against Palace, we saw a lot of positives. Whereas we seem to have taken many steps back here. First and foremost, the three points was crucial. Courtesy of a Cristiano Ronaldo penalty, Sue, and all that good stuff. But the performance was far from convincing, Cappy. Norwich attacked us from the start. And with the away crowd, I feel like the players either didn't expect it or didn't know how to handle the situation. I thought Norwich did a good job of exploiting our lack of width at the beginning of the game because our press seemed a step slower than it should have been. We didn't trigger it quick enough. So every time a player went over to press, there was a large amount of space for their fullbacks to just run into. Now we did eventually warm into the game and I thought 30th minute till half time, I would say we played our best football. The speed of the passing picked up, we pressed at a higher intensity and at a quicker rate, which we should have done throughout the whole game because Norwich would have coughed up possession a lot more than they did with all due respect. Problem with us is that you know we have been constantly played by inconsistencies. The best of the best have bad games sometimes, but the fans and players will know there will be a response in the next game. With us, we have lost complete trust in this squad and previous squads to be fair we've lost trust in manchester united at this point where we are just not confident in seeing dominance anymore simple things like five yard passes going out of play multiple times messing up a counter attack you know some things don't need coaching they require concentration application and dedication in the moment when will we ever get that back on a full-time basis? One of the best Christmas or birthday presents that I got, really. What? What are you doing here, man? And you haven't dropped a like on the video yet. And some of you haven't subscribed. Listen, Cappy's going to lose his mind if he finds out what you're doing. Make sure you do it, you know. Drop a like and subscribe right now. All right, look, I know that the performance wasn't up to par as Manchester United fans, we all know that. This is the game that we must win and we found a way. Top teams find a way and we did that. In terms of the system, there will be growing pains. I wouldn't call it a lack of effort like CM did. I would say there's confusion. Players didn't know where they were supposed to be at times and where others are supposed to be. It happens. Players don't understand the perfect trigger to start a press in different areas of the pitch. Sometimes when that happens, you begin to overthink and waste chances that you would tuck away without hesitation. I thought we'd press the ball forwards a lot more. McTominay to me probably the most out of the two midfielders you know that didn't work out every time but once again it comes with time you know you shouldn't have to think about it look up and bang the confidence will grow david de gea put some respect on his name please him. he has been the best keeper in the league arguably in europe this season Congratulations on 200 career clean sheets. Come on, man. The two saves that stood out to me was the one from Pookie when he tipped it over the bar and the header from Kabak where he just clawed it away. Immense. And sometimes, as a team, you just need that. The squad will see this win as a morale booster. Ralph will be the one to recognise the concerns and work on it in Carrington. But I have no doubt in my mind that over time, we will improve. And the last thing I wanted to mention was this Champions League round of 16 draw that UEFA completely messed up. Uh, we originally were supposed to be going up against 
Paris Saint-Germain. Messi versus Ronaldo, maybe for the final time, but they fumbled the bag because, all right, let me, let me just explain the whole situation. We were drawn against Villa Raya. They were in our group. And if you know the rules of the Champions League, in a round of 16, you're not allowed to go up against anybody in your group or in the same country. So we can't go up against English sides. We can't go up against teams that we faced in the group stages. We were somehow put in Villarreal's pot. Yeah. But then we were omitted. Once the error was found out at the time, we were omitted from the Atletico Madrid pot, which was a team we could have faced. So then everybody, you know, there was a large uproar on social media. And this is why I think social media is a good thing because this wouldn't have happened back in the days without socials. It wouldn't have happened so quickly. So UEFA avoided the whole draw, the first one that started at 11 a.m. UK time and then rescheduled it for 2 p.m. And eventually we were, ironically, <laughs> put up against Atletico Madrid which were actually one of the teams who, you know, voiced their opinion and complained about it. So, yeah, instead of Paris Saint-Germain, the rematch, remember that night in Paris? Ah, oh, good times. But, yeah, instead of that rematch, we'll be going up against Atletico Madrid, Diego Simeone, and they're frustrating, you know, oh, that type of football. Oh, man, it's going to be a tough time. Trust me, it's going to be a tough game, Capi. We cannot give them a lead to defend. That is the most important thing. Not having away goals will give both teams the incentive to find that goal and defend it. And Atletico are one of the best teams at doing that. Still a way to go until that fixture though. So for now, we must focus on getting better. Ralph Rangnick will be focused on getting the team ready <laughs> in this system and as individuals. Brentford tomorrow in the league, which will be another tough challenge. But the guys must be ready for it. No excuses. And you know what? Make sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. And if you're new, share it to everyone you know in the ends. Can you smell what the twins are cooking? Hopefully extracting honey from the bees tomorrow at half seven. Peace. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rate you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.